Good evening. Hi, good evening. Good evening, Miss. Good evening, everyone, guys. How are you, people? How are you? Good. Are you happy because it's Friday? Yes, it's Friday. Yes. 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 <laughs> happy because it's Friday. You're dancing. <laughs> yes. You have plans? <laughs> Any plans for your weekend? Sleep. <laughs> sleep. Yes, you're going to sleep. No work tomorrow? You don't work tomorrow? Ooh. Blanquita, do you work tomorrow? ¿Tú trabajas mañana? You don't work tomorrow? Aquí. Yo sí tengo en, la casa, en la casa hay trabajo. Ah, uh, yes, Siempre. that never finished. <laughs> Kevin, I'm sorry. What Yo sí tengo clases mañana. You have classes tomorrow at the university. Sí, es que yes. llega un momento oh. ya en la carrera en la cual ya no se ah. pueden elegir como los horarios it's entonces it's true so the your uh, yes when you have like uh, the specific subjects right cuando ya son la, las materias de la carrera so it's very mm -hmm. difficult to say no no on Saturdays no I can go on, on Monday uh, on Tuesday no that's it es que eran 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 las opciones era llevar esa materia el lunes a jueves de mm -hmm. 4 a 7 o llevarla uh, solo el sábado ah no it's better on Saturday only uh -huh. one day in the on but only but it's the whole day it's the complete day no it's the seven uh from seven? eleven from seven ah it's four hours yes ah, okay but it's more convenient one day only right yes. it's, and it's presential it's, right. it's presential class yes presential yeah uh, yeah that is true so yes in presential Right, you go every day, imagining only one day. It's more convenient, only one day. Yes, right. That's good, the best option, nice. All right, so welcome, Blanca, Kevin, Navy, Alba. We have Sandra Guadalupe. Who else we have? Alba Marisol, Judy, welcome. Sandra Guadalupe. Welcome. Okay, pruebas de sonido? Oh, that's good. Hello. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> Everything okay? Yes. Yes. <laughs> proving, proving the sound. <laughs> That's nice. We can hear you very well now. Welcome, Fernando. Welcome to your to your session on this Friday. Let's continue. Remember, yesterday we were with simple present but WH questions. Now we'll continue with descriptions, and you know that to describe we need adjectives. Adjectives are very important. And we have here also that we are going to see different positions of the adjective. In a specific, we are going to use the verb be plus adjective, but also adjective plus noun. But we are going to describe professions and occupations. And we have some examples here. For example, boring, easy, dangerous, exciting, difficult, stressful do you have a new adjective here any question for example what is boring How are you? very good a description easy Fancy. excellent dangerous that's right exciting uh -huh. emocionante excitante good difficult Easy. Easy. Yes, correct. So the contrary, then easy. Stressful? Stress. Estresado? <laughs> no, that's different. No. That is stressed. Estresante. Ah, okay. Yes. So all of these ones are adjectives to describe a person or a profession. It can be a place or different things. But they are opinions. Opinions that you can have about the occupations or the professions. For example, here, let's look at Ben. Let's see. How do you think that is Ben's occupation? How would you describe it? His job is boring, easy, dangerous, exciting, difficult, or stressful? His job is stressful. stressful. His job is stressful. stressful. Okay, very good. What about Claudia? That she's a, a doctor, right? 
What's your opinion about her job, about Claudia's job? Exciting. Exciting? Exciting. Mm -hmm. Her job is exciting. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about Vicky and Owen? It's stressful. It's stressful. It's stressful? Okay, that's good. You see, we can have different opinions, right? Some persons could say that it's stressful. Other persons can say that maybe it's easy. Others could say that it's boring. All depends on the person, right? What is your opinion? We have different opinions about the things. Now, let's check here. We have some other, another list. Interesting. Yeah. What's interesting? Interesante. Perfect. Interesante. Hard? Mm. Oh. What can it's be easy. hard? Aha, uh -huh, exactly. This one is a synonym of difficult. Oh. They are synonyms. You can say difficult or hard. Simple? Simple. That's good. Exactly. <laughs> synonym of easy. They are synonyms, oh. right? Oh, your job is simple. They say it's easy. Exhausting. Yeah. Exhausto. Exhausto. Ajá. Exhaustivo. Exacto. Cansado. Puede cansado. ser cansado. En el término de agotador. Uh -huh. Exhausting. Uh -huh. Entertaining. Entretenido. Perfect. That's good. Demanding. Eh, como exigente. It is. That is correct. Okay. Uh -huh. So we have different adjectives we can describe. And let's see here an example. The two manners, how we can add a, a description. An actor's job is exciting. An actor has an exciting job. The two forms are correct and they have exactly the same message, just that in different manners. Another example would be a soccer player's job is entertaining or a soccer player has an entertaining job. Two forms are correct, but look at the structure. Here we have the profession. An actor, apostrophe is here. Remember this one makes it like a possessive. This is a possessive noun. It's not a plural. It's not referring to plural. It's referring that the actor, the possession of the actor here is the job. It means the job of an actor, the work of an actor. And what is the description? It's exciting. So you are using the verb to be in the adjective. But there is another manner. You can mention the name of the profession or the occupation. <clears throat> Sorry. Then you have the verb have or has. In this case, it's has because you're referring to one, right? It's third person singular. And then you use article. Remember article? A and N. Referring to one. We use an because the next word starts with the vowel, letter E. So it cannot be an exciting job, right? But an exciting job. Same here. A soccer player's job is entertaining. The verb be in the adjective. A soccer player has an entertaining job. So in this case, we have the conjugation of the verb have but it's in the person, singular. Then you use the article an because you're referring to only one job. You're describing one job. And what are you saying or what are you expressing about the job? That is entertaining. Any question with this? Miss? Yes, tell me. Tengo una duda. Go ahead, tell me. Cuando se utiliza eh, una preposición en a, in an. The articles. When you use the articles. Articles uh -huh. A and N. is like this. When you have the article A, it's because the next word starts with the consonant. For example, in the case of the profession lawyer. Lawyer. A lawyer can also say a doctor. Let's observe that here. You have the article A because the next word starts with lawyer that says a consonant, right? In the case of a L. So you cannot say an lawyer. Say a lawyer. 
¿Ah? Siempre, siempre es así, cuando hay consonantes, siempre. When there is a consonant, but there are other cases that depending on the sounds. Depende más que todo del sonido. Porque okay. recuerdan que mencionábamos también a, acerca de a university. Like here, this is an exception. A university. In this case, the sound of the letter U is not a vowel, but it's like Griega. a consonant. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So it sounds, no, a university, right? It says a university. So it sounds like a consonant. Esa es la única, a, a mí se me olvida siempre, esa es la única como excepción que va a haber siempre, Miss. Eh, We have an of the sound. Ajá, por el se sonido. Escucha you. Ajá, exactly. Esa es la the, única que hay. Es the only one, actually, and with you. Muy bien. Thank you, Miss. En el caso de la U, porque hay otro también. For example, when you say eh, a unicorn. The word unicorn. Pero siempre va con U. Exactly, uh -huh. pero el sonido siempre va. It's like a consonant, a uniform, a unicorn, a uniform is another one, a uniform. Different than an elephant, that is different because elephant is with a vowel. So that will be the difference, a uniform, a unicorn, a university, a uniform, that can be another case. A universe, it can be another one. Thank you, Miss. You're very welcome. All right, let's go ahead then with these ones. For that reason is that here the adjectives is necessary, right? Many of the adjectives, they start with a vowel. Hay muchos adjetivos que empiezan con una vocal. For example, here, interesting, say an interesting job, an entertaining job, an exciting, an easy job. So it's necessary to include the article N. Let's check other examples here. We have the other professions and occupations, and we have other adjectives. Awesome. What is awesome? Have you heard awesome? Wow, your job is awesome. Asombroso. 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 Excellent. Fantastic. Fantastic. It's like in Spanish, right? Yes. Important. We can say that oh, your job is important or you have an important job. You see, this is another adjective. It starts with a vowel. So we say an important job, an awesome job. So we have the rule here. Let's see other examples. It says, a scientist's job is interesting. Or, a scientist has an interesting job. An engineer has a hard job. Or, an engineer's job is hard. Two forms, equal message. No change in this. Any question? Any doubt about it? No questions? No, miss. No? Okay, let's go ahead. We are going to watch the video on the platform and then we are going to have a practice. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn It's okay, right? Yes, miss. Yes. Yes, yes, yes miss. Okay. Thank you. Placement of adjectives. Particularly, you will learn be plus adjective and noun plus adjective. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title. That's exciting. Let's listen and practice. Hey Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes. I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job. 
and sometimes it's dangerous. In essence, what we want to learn is how to express the same thing, but in different ways. First, let's analyze the examples on the left-hand side of this chart, B plus adjective. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article, A or an, plus profession, plus apostrophe, plus job, plus verb to be, plus adjective. Now let's analyze the first example on the chart. A firefighter's job is dangerous. At the beginning of our sentence, we will typically use an article whenever we're talking about a singular job. So in this case, A, then we have profession plus apostrophe S, which expresses possessive, plus job. After that, we're going to add the verb to be, in this case is, is. Uh, finally, we put the adjective. Let's look at our next example. A doctor's job is stressful. At the beginning of our sentence, we have an article, in this case, A. Then we have profession plus apostrophe S, which expresses possessive, plus job. After that, we have the verb to be, is. Finally, we have the adjective, stressful. Now we want to express these same examples using adjective plus noun. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article, a or an, plus profession, plus has, plus article, a or an, plus adjective, plus noun. So let's make sense of the first example now. A firefighter has a dangerous job. At the beginning of our sentence, we will use the, an article, a. Then we will have the profession, firefighter. After that, we add the verb has. Next, the article A, then we will add the adjective, and finally we need to add the noun, which in this case is job. Now I would like to give you some adjectives which may describe different jobs. And then I would like for you to express your opinion about different jobs that we have learned so far. Let me read them for you. Boring, easy, dangerous, exciting, difficult, stressful. So using the adjectives that I just gave you, I would like for you to describe different jobs. And I would like for you to express your ideas in different ways using B plus adjectives and adjective plus noun. For example, a lawyer's job is stressful. A lawyer has a stressful job. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. All right, let's go ahead. As you saw in the video and we were explaining, we have two different forms to add the position of the verb and you give opinions, you describe. The first one, we use the verb be plus adjective. A firefighter's job is dangerous. Or adjective plus noun, a firefighter has a dangerous job. Two manners, equal way. A doctor's job is stressful or a doctor has a stressful job. Now, let's see the formula. Article A or N, all it depends on the noun. In this case, it's the profession. To the profession, we are going to include apostrophe S. Remember apostrophe S in this case? It means the possessive noun. So that is the job 
of the professional, right? The job of the lawyer, the job of the firefighter, the job of the doctor. So it's a possessive noun. After that, you include the verb to be and you include the adjective. That's the opinion that you have or the characteristic about the profession. A firefighter's job is dangerous. A doctor's job is stressful. So that's the case. This is the formula that you have. Two manners to express it. Questions? Do you have questions about this? No le comprendí por qué se usa el apóstrofe. Because it's a possessive, a possessive form. Este apóstrofe es va a ir agregado a un nombre siempre que sea eh, como expresar el dueño de algo. En este caso, mm -hmm. el trabajo sí, sí. de él. Ajá, es a possession. Mm -hmm. Este es un nombre posesivo. Como cuando decíamos, my sister's house is big. My mother's computer is expensive. So es algo de alguien. Es un nombre posesivo. Posesivo. Ajá. En este caso es el trabajo o el empleo de, de, del, uh, how do you say, firefighter? Bombero. El bombero, yes. <laughs> What about the job of the doctor? El trabajo de un doctor. So it's like the possession. The job of the doctor. The job of the firefighter. And you give, the, in the complement, you have pregunta. the Yes, tell me. Tell me, ¿Cómo, Juan Alberto? Redactar, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo redactaría la, 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 la oración diciendo que el trabajo de un policía investigador es estresante? It's stressful, you could say. So it's like this. We are going to write it y, here. Y en, eso, ¿Y en eso de la profesión para agregarle la S? Ah, it's like this. We will say It will be, the profession is investigator, right? Yes. Policía investigador. Yes. Sí. That's the profession. Okay. So that will be a police. In this case, as, as an investigator, you need to say an investigator. Investigator, police. And you need to include apostrophe S, job is stress like this an investigator police's job is stressful vaya mis so pero job. en Are ese caso mm -hmm. en ese caso está está dando dos profesiones una es investigador y otra es policía a cuál de los dos se le va a colocar el apóstrofe es de last one al último al ah. último siempre va a ser al, al segundo en este caso mm -hmm. no es solo policía sino que también es investigador pero va a llevar el, la posesiva forma, la va a llevar en el segundo nombre. No va a llevar an investigator's police's job. Siempre la va a llevar el segundo. Si nosotros, le, o sea, si vemos una oración con dos apóstrofes, es una, un error gramatical. That is incorrect, ajá, porque el que lo debe llevar debe de ser el segundo nombre. Ah, correct. Uh -huh. Porque Thank ese you. es el que me indica. Nada más investigador es nada más como el otro calificativo. Pero en específico es policía. Ah, pero tiene un agregado que es investigador. Tiene esa otra característica. Pero el nombre que está calificando acá es, es policía. Yeah. Pero su característica es que además es investigador. Entonces, investigador pasa a ser como también una característica. También hablando del empleo, right? So, an investigator police job is stressful. So that will be the opinion that you have. Now, what about if you want to use has? Si lo queremos convertir a utilizando has, ¿cómo sería? How would you use it? Uh, investigator police uh -huh. has uh, uh -huh. a stressful job. A stressful job. Aha, that's good. An investigator. <laughs> Police. And now, no apostrophe S because you are not using possessive noun. Because you substitute with the verb. Has. And there, has. Exactly. Esa sería otra forma de utilizarlo. Hay dos maneras. Pero el mensaje es el mismo. An investigator police has 
And now you know the article. Has a stressful job. job. Exactly. The stressful job. Job. Elimine el apóstrofe y le coloca has. Exactly. That one substitutes. Porque es el verbo tener. Es lo mismo de pertenencia. Exactly. That's correct. Porque el verbo tener, pues, se me está expresando una pertenencia también. Y acá, pues, lo utilizamos, sustituimos el verbo have utilizando un nombre posesivo. Hmm. But the two forms are the same message. It's not different manner form. Just a different structure, diferentes estructuras. Diferentes o sea, que la formas. estructura que cambiamos es el es por el tiene. That is all right. Exactly. Okay. You have a possessive noun. Let's say possessive noun, possession. The other form yes. would be you have no. the subject that is uh, the profession. All is has. The verb have in third person, right? Because it's a third person. It's on, you're referring only to one. One investigator police. Third person. And then you use article. Article A because the adjective is with a consonant. A stressful job. El no, en, el caso cuando, en el caso cuando yo quiera referir a mi trabajo, ese has no cambia por un have. Exactly. Because now my subject is I. I have. If mm. you say, I have a stressful job or my job is stressful. Ok. Porque eso ya es mi pertenencia, ¿verdad? Es mi trabajo. Ya, y ya no voy a utilizar un posesivo, porque si fuera un posesivo, entonces ya estoy hablando en tercera persona. No, no nombre posesivo, ah, pero sí un posesivo. Ah, I have, I have. I have es yo tengo. Yo no, tengo, oh. exactly. Sí. Ajá, yo tengo, ajá. Yo tengo un trabajo estresante. I have a stressful job or my job is stressful. De las dos formas es, es el mismo mensaje, solo que con diferente estructura. Uno utilizando posesivo. Y el otro, el verbo have. Yes? Is that clear? Yes, means. Yes? No questions about it? No, Let's see. No. More examples that we can apply here. Let's erase this. Okay, in this one, we have placement of adjective, the same case, right? We have the formula B plus adjective or adjective plus noun. We have an exercise here. A musician's job is interesting. That is one manner. The other manner, a musician has an interesting job. Let's give the other formulas. Let's see. Judy Edith, help us please. Number two. Read it, please. Judy? No, we cannot listen. Hola? Okay, now it's ready. Oh. Yes, now we can hear oh, you. Estar aquí. Qué barbaridad. <laughs> Number two. Number two, please. An athlete's an athlete an athlete's job is exciting. 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 Very good. Thank exciting. you. Rebecca, transform please. Now you're going to use with the verb has. An athlete's job. An athlete's job. Yes. An exciting job. An exciting job. Very good job. That is correct. Good. Blanca, read number three, please. A uh, lawyer's. Lawyer's. A lawyer's job is stressful. Very good job. Nice. Juan Alberto. Transform. Now use with the verb has. A lawyer. A lawyer. Esta la dijo la compañera, la, la compañera Blanca. A larger, a larger house is stressful. Job. Stressful. Job. A lawyer's job is stressful. A lawyer's job is stressful. Uh -huh. But you need to transform. Transform. 
A lawyer's job is stressful. This is one manner with the verb be. Now use adjective plus noun. So that will be a lawyer has. A, a lawyer has. Uh -huh. A stressful job. That is correct. So that will be two manners to say it. That's nice. Good. Let's see. Aaron, continue. Number four. Good night, teacher. Hey, good evening. Welcome. Okay, a uh, security guard guard has a voting job. That's correct. Thank you. Continue, Sandra Guadalupe. Transform. Sandra, are you there? Uh, yes. A secu a security 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 job. A security guard. Ah, perdón. A security guard job, a uh, boring job. Mm -hmm. Okay, a it will be a security guard, like using a possessive noun, right? Like in the other manner. A security okay. guard job. A, secu a security guard job. Job. Uh -huh. Is boring. Is boring. That's correct. Nice one. Continue, Maria Emilia, please. Read number five. Uh, a fo photo. Uh -huh. A photographer. A fo photographer has a difficult job. Thank you, Nevi. Transform. A photo. A photographer job is photographers. Photographers' uh, job is difficult. Is difficult. Very good. Nice. Okay. Continue. Let's see. Alba. Alba Marisol. Are you present? Yes. yes. A police officer has a dangerous job. Dangerous? Dangerous? Dangerous job. Very good. Kevin, transform it, please. So, uh, a police officer's mm -hmm. job is dangerous. 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 Very good job. Excellent, guys. That's right. Question about this? Miss, en el caso que alguna eh, profesión termine en S, se le agregaría otra S. In the case okay. of that, you don't, only the apostrophe. En ese caso solo le va a agregar un apóstrofe. Ah, ok. Le vamos a agregar un apóstrofe S cuando sean nombres comunes. Eh, pero en ese caso va a llevar, por ejemplo, in the case of a name, of a proper noun. Si es en el caso de un nombre propio de una persona, entonces esa pueda llevar, por ejemplo, if you say Luis, mm -hmm. Luis, like this, apostrophe, pero también puede llevar apostrophe S, Luis, like this, pero no se pronuncia una doble S, sino es solo Luis. Sí, es like que lo hizo en bastantes subtítulos, pero no Ajá. sabía si era correcto ponerle la doble S. Es, es correcto cuando se trata de un nombre propio que termina en una S. En este caso sí, pero si es un nombre común, no. Ahí sería incorrecto. Ok. En este caso, Luis, eh, job is hard. Pero cuando estamos hablando, por ejemplo, bueno, lo vi en un programa uh -huh. de la casa de Luis, cuando hay que referirse a casa de Luis. Luis House. Con esa misma doble S. Sí, pero solo aplica para los nombres de personas que terminan en una S, cuando son nombres propios. Solo okay. en nombres propios. Pero en el caso de, por ejemplo, si yo quiero decir eh, parents. Parents es un nombre común. Papás no son nombres propios. En este caso solo le agregamos una, un apóstrofe. Ya no va a llevar apóstrofe S. Ok. En el caso de nombre propio, como les mencionaba, tienen dos opciones, solo apóstrofe o apóstrofes, pero solo con nombres propios que terminan con una S. Por ejemplo, Charles, eh, Iris, the Iris, any other name that you remember? Any other name that you remember? Otro nombre que recuerden que termina en S. Damaris. Damaris, ajá. Damaris, car. Yes, Damaris apostrofe S, or Damaris 
uh, apostrophe only. It's optional. Only in proper names. Only in those cases. ¿Y si termina en doble S? If it's a proper name, yes. Si es un nombre propio, sí. Por ejemplo, en el nombre de Ross. Hay nombre que es Ross, like this. Apostrophe or apostrophes. Pero si es nombre común, no. En el caso, por ejemplo, de Jair Hostner. Hostess. Hostess. Uh -huh. Ajá, es un nombre común. No es un nombre propio. Ese no va a llevar apóstrofe, solo va a o llevar... O sea, que son los nombres de personas y son nombres propios. Es un nombre propio, exacto. Entonces, puede llevar apóstrofías o solamente el apóstrofe. Sí, no lo entendí, se me cortó. <ríe> en el nombre, si es eh, eh, nombre propio, sí va a llevar apóstrofías o solo el apóstrofe, porque ya lleva Ay, pero, una S. Pero en el ejemplo que le, que le decía de azafata, en ese postre, caso, ajá, pero como... Con doble S? Ajá, no, porque es un nombre común. No Así el... se deja común. Ajá, se deja común, solo se le va a agregar apóstrofe. No, apóstrofe. Y se deja las mismas dos S. Exacto, porque tal cual así es el nombre. Ok. Uh -huh. Pero es un nombre común. Es como lawyer, doctor, el nombre de las profesiones, esos son nombres comunes. Muy bien. Muy bien. Propios serían nuestros nombres, ¿verdad? O nuestros apellidos. Hay unos que llevan you, una Liz. S. You're very welcome. We're going to pass the list. Let me know if you are present, please. Okay, let's check. Aaron, I remember I saw Aaron by there. Present, Miss. Thank you. Tarde, Aaron. pero aquí estoy. Yeah. Está más oscuro. <laughs> in, in the, the dark. Tibla, Aaron. It's in the dark. Hoy es, hoy estoy a la luz de la, a la luz de la, a la luz de la candela, no, de la, la candela, no del foco. It, it's Black Friday today. <laughs> <laughs> Me siento como el hombre así de así. Like, <laughs> yes. Alba Marisol. Present. Thank you, Alba. Blanca Rosa. Present. Thank you so much. Elmer Edenilson. Present. Thank you, Elmer. Evelyn Yesenia. Evelyn Yesenia. Are you there? Fernando de Jesús. Present. Thank you, Fernando. Glenda Guadalupe. Glenda Guadalupe. Juan Alberto. Juan Alberto. Present, Miss. Thank you, Juan. Kenia Vanessa. Present, Miss. Thank you, Kenia. Kevin Adrián. Present, Miss. Thank you, Adrián. María Emilia. Present, Miss. Thank you, María. Melba Patricia. Present, teacher. Thank you, Melba. Nevi Solina. Ay, Solina, you, you are. <laughs> Isolina. Thank you, Miss. Yes. Thank you. Rafael Antonio. Present, Miss. Thank you. Rebeca Vanessa. Present, Miss. Thank you so much. Sandra Guadalupe. Present, Miss. Thank you. Sandra Margarita. Present. Thank you so much. Jacqueline Marioris. Jacqueline Marioris. And Judy Edith. Present, Miss. Thank you very much. Now we hear you clear and loud. Yes. Let's go on then. All right. So we did this exercise. Remember in the platform, you got this one. This exercise similar than, than that practice. So let's see this one. It says that you need to write each sentence and you use it in a different way you follow the example no period so you, you don't need the period right single punto in the number one the example let's read the example let's see sandra margarita read the example please a doctor's job is interesting 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 
Thank you. Elmer Danilson. Option B. Elmer, are you there? No? Kenya Vanessa? Yes, miss. Ah, yes. Okay. Go ahead, Elmer. Option B. A doctor? A doctor has an interesting job. Job. Very good. Thank you. Let's continue then, Rafael. Okay. Number two, option A. Okay. A police, a police officer. A police. Okay. A police officer. Job Officers? is dangerous. 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 Good. Repeat it, please. A police officer's okay. job is dangerous. A police officer's job is dangerous. 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 That's correct. Thank you. Continue. Me me. I'm sorry? Me llamó. <laughs> yes, I me había levantado un ratito. <laughs> okay, yes, we are with the exercise here. Let's okay. work on this one. Let's see Juan Alberto. Option D. A police has a, a police, police officer. Officer. Because now a you're police, going to use a police officers. Officer. A police officer uh -huh. has an dangerous job. Dangerous. Uh, our end. A dangerous ah, job. Right. Excellent. Because dangerous is start with a consonant, so no and. That's all right. Yes, excellent. Dangerous job. Dangerous. Dangerous job. Correct. So you can say a police officer's job is dangerous or a police officer has a dangerous job. So that the verb has substitutes the possessive noun. Right? Questions? Questions about it? El has means mm -hmm. va a sustituir el apóstrofe y el, el, la S. The possessive noun. Todo el nombre posesivo acá lo sustituye. Mm. Porque acá ya lo mencionamos. The uh -huh. a police officer. Has, después del sujeto, que es, viene siendo la profesión o la ocupación. Mm -hmm. Se hace el sujeto y luego va el verbo. Has mm -hmm. a dangerous job. Or a police officer's job is dangerous. Mm -hmm. It's just like two different manners. O sea, que se, así, como, así como dice la compañera, el has está sustituyendo el apóstrofe mismo. No solo el apóstrofe, es el nombre posesivo. So you have has. You substitute this. No lo entiendo, no lo en, entiendo. En lugar de decir a police officer's job, yo digo a police officer has. So you substitute, solo se sustituye ese has, que dice tiene, pero acá ese trabajo de posesivo lo hace el nombre posesivo. An officer's job, mm -hmm. a police officer's job. El trabajo de un policía es peligroso o un policía tiene un trabajo peligroso. Pero el mensaje es el mismo. Mm -hmm. Solo dos estructuras diferentes. Ajá. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Two different okay. manners. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay, let's go ahead. Let's continue with more practice. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Solamente una consulta. En el caso, cuando, las, cuando el verbo eh, empiece con vo en vocal, va a ser an. Mm, it's not a verb. In this case, it's an adjective. Este de acá es el adjetivo. An Perdón, el adjetivo. Que diga, el adjetivo. Cuando empieza con una vocal, debe de yes. ir el artículo an. Ah, correcto. Ajá. Cuando es consonante, va Then solamente. A. A. For ah, example, correcto. here, you say, ah, boring. Ah, boring sí. job. In this case, our an. An. An, exactly. An easy an. job. A your an. Ah. Ah, dangerous. Ah. Ah. What about exciting? An exciting. An exciting job. Ajá, uh -huh. good. What about this one? A difficult, uh, a difficult job. Aha, uh -huh, good. What about uh, this one? Uh, stressful. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh, Porque stressful. la S, aha, uh -huh, la S suena tal y como es. Es nada más el sonido de la S. No sería como stressful, sino 
stressful. Stressful. Ajá, that's correct. So it depends, right, on the, the letter, the first letter. Depende de la primera letra y del sonido de esa letra. Solo quiero, quiero, quiero tomar una, una captura acá. Dicho. Ok, go ahead. Ya la otra semana, primero días, tengo la computer. Hey, that's good. Sí. Porque que bien, es bien feo estar así, de verdad, que no, no es lo mismo como tener la computadora. Solo la gente que tiene dinero habla así, dame. <laughs> no, no, de segunda mano, como va a creer. Next week, next week I have the computer. Sí, aquí estoy con ese poquito anantillo, yo, yo siento que no me mira la, la mis. You are in Black Friday. Yes. <laughs> yes, tell me, David. Hay una compañera o compañero, no sé qué es, Edison, que está mandando como captura, pero que no se puede ah. conectar para que usted lo tome en cuenta. Ok, porque... en el WhatsApp, ok. Sí, en WhatsApp, pero no sé quién es, o sea, no Thank sé. Thank you. Ok, thank you so much. I will check. Maybe he has problems. Eddie, it says Eddie uh, has problems with connection. Mm -hmm. Ok. Cannot connect to our service. Ok. No sé, ahora, ahora me tocó andar ahí buscando en, en, en lo, ¿cómo se llaman los almacenes esos de, 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 de casas de empeño? Porque al menos Ajá. que sea un usadito voy a conseguir. Mi yeah. no, no es, lo mismo. es que no es lo mismo estar en el teléfono, no se puede. Yeah, no, it's not the same. No, no es lo mismo. Ok. Thank you, I wrote. Notify, thank you, thank you. Now, let's check here. Any more questions with this? No, miss. No? Okay, we're going to watch another video. And this one is about reading, about job profiles. We'll watch and also listen about four professionals and they have different occupations and professions. And let's see the characteristics of their jobs. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop prediction and inferencing skills after reading and discussing an article on job profiles. Can I expand? Lo podemos expandir. Pero se pone azul. Pero es que así casi no se ve. Bueno, a mí se me dificulta ver así. No, aún todavía en la compu se ve muy chiquito. Es small, right? Es que como acá son como, están como escaneadas. Sí cuesta ver las letras. Pero yo las tengo igual acá. Igual siempre se las muestro acá. Igual siempre se ve un poco oscura porque es escaneada. No, pero igual lo, lo que dice en el video, lo que sale así en lo blanco, cuesta leerlo, mm -hmm. cuesta verlo. Miss, es que yo yes. creo que esa ventana que tiene de, de abierta, creo que le roba espacio. Esa. This okay. one. Ajá, uh -huh, that's the thing. That if I expand, si lo expandimos, se ve negro acá. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Cuesta. Bueno, yo Ajá. ya me estoy quedando en shock. ¿Y si le das zoom a la pantalla de la computadora? Ajá, ¿no la puede expandir desde ahí? No, okay. usted mis, es, usted eh, mis. en configuraciones, en los tres puntitos a la derecha, oh, puede okay. darle zoom a la pantalla. In here. No, arriba, 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 arriba. In here. Sí, los tres puntitos que salen abajo de la X. Que está la parte de la S. I don't find it. This one. Ahí, ahí. Ahí, ahí le puede dar zoom donde dice 100, Uy, creo sorry. yo. Sorry. Look at, I lost it. <laughs> ok, like here. It's like to give zoom, maybe. Ahí donde dice más, ahí donde está el 100, ahí, creo más que más abajo. Momento, no logro ver bien. Yes. Yes. Ahí, ahí está el más. Uy. Sorry, what did I do here? Okay, now we lost it. Technology. <laughs> okay, you will be here, I, I think. Too. I need to give more. Ah, creo que ahí le puedo dar un poquito más. 
Ah, un poquito sí, más. Sí. Ajá, oh, Ahora, good with technology. Ajá. Ok, aquí ya creo que me va a bajar más. Ahí right. sí ya ve, María. Ahí sí ya ve. Ahí sí ya ve. That's good. You are Gracias. good with technology. Para. <ríe> Voy a enseñar más de tecnología. <ríe> ok, let's go ahead. Thank you Lisa so Parker has two jobs. She works as a waitress at night, but she's really an actress. During the day, she auditions for plays and television shows. Her schedule is difficult, and she's tired a lot, but she's following her dream. Lots of teenagers want John Blue's job. He plays video games for eight hours a day and he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. Becky Peck walks in the park every day for many hours, rain or shine. Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs for other people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. He plans lessons, grades homework, helps with after-school activities, and, of course, he teaches. His salary isn't great, but that's okay. His students like his class, so he's happy. Let's check. No se veía muy bien, ¿verdad? También es que como por el escaneado acá no se aprecia muy bien. Igual acá se ve un poco como oscuro. But we're going to try to read them. Okay. In this one, it has job profiles. So different occupations and professions we have. The first one is about an actress. And it says, Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as a waitress at night, but she's really an actress. During the day, she auditions for plays and television shows. Her schedule is difficult, and she's tired a lot, but she's following her dream. So how is her job? How do you describe Lisa Parker's job? Is it easy, difficult? It's interesting. It's interesting, right? Okay. She has two jobs. Very good. Now let's read about video game tester. And this one is the other guy. He says, lots of teenagers want John Blue's job. He plays video games for eight hours a day. And he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. So the majority of the occasions that he plays, he wins. How do you describe? How do you it's describe his job? It's funny for him. It's funny for him. Okay. It's entertaining. Yeah. It's entertaining and it's entertaining. demanding. And demanding too. Demanding because for imagine, the time. For the time. Exactly. That is correct. Okay. Let's see the other two ones. We have the worker. Becky Peak walks in the park every day for many hours, rain or shine. Becky is a professional dog worker. She walks dogs for other people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. Imagine 20 dogs at one time. Wow. How do you describe her job? Chihuahua, Miss. Ajá, chihuahuas, because imagine big dogs, 20, no. Si con uno cuesta, no digamos con 20. Exactly, that is true, it's, it's difficult, yes. What about the teacher? It says, Carlos Riz is a busy man. He plans lessons, grades homework, helps with after school activities, and of course, he teaches. His salary isn't great, but that's okay. His students like his class, so he's happy. How do you describe his job? It's important it's and exhausting. It's important, exhausting, uh -huh, because he's Stressful. always busy, right? Stressful. 
It's stressful, yes, because of a lot of activities, right? The complete day. That's good. Okay, now let's check here. It says, read the article. Who says these things? Write your guesses. So what do you suppose? Who do you imagine that says these words? Number one. Let's see. Fernando, can you read number one, please? Fernando, are you there? After I win, yes. I take a break. Very good, thanks. Nevi, who do you think says this? After I win, I take a break. Uh, teacher, Carlos Ruiz. The teacher, no. Remember, win is because you have a game. Or a ah, sí, el yes. otro niño que estaba jugando. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so, John Blue, no. right? Is John Blue. Nice. Yeah, so he's the one who says that. Well, John not... Blue, the gamer. John Blue. Right, okay. What about number two? Blanca, read it, please. I don't. I don't us, us, usually, usually, usually work in the summer. In the summer. Summer. Thank you. Who probably said this? Teacher. The oh, teacher, what? right? Normally a teacher doesn't work on summer. Uh-huh. Carlos Riz. That's all right. Good. Carlos Riz. What about number three? Kevin, read it, please. The restaurant closes the restaurant? late. Uh-huh. Okay. Around? Around 2 a.m. 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 All right. Well, Who probably said this? Is the actress. The Person actress, the right? Nombre. Do you remember yeah. her name? Um, okay. Lisa Parker. All right. Good memory. Nice. Lisa Parker. Oh, Lisa that's Parker. correct. Very good. Lisa Parker. So that's the actress. Lisa Parker. Right. Okay. What about number four? Juan Alberto, read it, please. Miss, esa parte no la he entendido. No? Okay. It, you are going to imagine that these words, who says that? ¿Quién, ¿Quién probablemente dijo esto? De los profesionales o los que tienen la ocupación. For example, in number one, after I win, I take a break. En el texto no lo dice, pero probablemente lo dijo por la ocupación que tiene. So here, after I win, I take a break is John Blue. Why? Because he's talking about win games. You see? Video game tester. So he plays video games. And he says that the majority of the times he wins. Yes? No, le puedo responder. No, no okay. ver esas imágenes. Let me check. Let's open like this. What about like this? <clears throat> It says, eh, the other one, after I work, my feet and arms are tired. Después de mi trabajo, mis pies y brazos están cansados. So who probably said that? Becky, 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 Becky Pick, right? Uh -huh. Because he walks, camina. Camina, right? Ajá, uh -huh. and she has Mira. to run, ajá, uh -huh. she has to run, that's correct, yes. She walks dogs for other people, tiene que correr también, si se le escapa uno, right? So she has to run too. So that is Becky Pick. Entonces en esta parte vamos a poner el nombre del autor que menciona uh -huh. la oración, el... por lo menos en él, que después, Entonces, según lo, lo que se dice, que después de trabajar... Ajá. Mis pies, Mis pies están y, cansados. y brazos están cansados. ¿Quién probablemente puede decir esto? Porque aquí en el texto no lo menciona. Pero uh -huh. por las actividades que realiza en su trabajo, esto probablemente le sucede. In the case of the number two, for example, I don't usually work in the summer. Usualmente no trabajo los veranos. Okay. Probablemente un maestro. And that's Carlos Ruiz. 
Correcto. ¿Ya? Yes. Y de que hizo de... comprensión. Es a, ajá, correct. It's reading comprehension. In the case of number three, it says the restaurant closes late, around 2 a.m. Who works in a restaurant? Is Lisa Parker, because she is a waitress and a, an actress, too. So she has two jobs. Yes? Questions? Questions about this? No. No? No. 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 Okay, give me examples then. Let's see, Sandra Margarita. You are going to describe a job. I'm going to put here the different occupations and you give me the description. Here you got the pictures. Describe it. Sandra Margarita, are you there? Yes. Yes, okay. Select. Select one of the professions or occupations and describe it. A doctor. Mm -hmm. A doctor's job is mm -hmm. stressful. It's stressful. Very good job. Thank you. That's good. Melba? Melba, are you here? Melba Patricia? Sí. Yes. Um, okay. Give us another example, please. A teacher jobs. Mm -hmm. A is... teacher's a teacher's job. Is interesting. 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 Right? So you say this adjective, right? Thank you. That's very good. Sandra Guadalupe, another example. Okay. Yes. Uh, a receptionist. A receptionist. Pass. Okay. As um, excite, an exciting, an exciting, very good. Yo, mm -hmm. an exciting Joe, really good job, nice. Alba Marisol, are you there? Alba, yes. A a pilot mm -hmm. has a interesting job. An interesting job. Oh. An? An interesting job. An interesting job. Thank you. That's good. Continue. Kenya Vanessa. Kenya, are you there? Yes, me. Yes. yes. Me. Okay. Give us an example, please. Uh, and <clears throat> police officer. A police officer? A police officer. As an stressful job. Okay, a police officer has a stressful has job. A stressful job. Good. A stressful job. A stressful job. That's correct. Thank you. Nice. Aaron, continue. A chef has uh, an easy Job. Yay, yeah, that's good. An easy job. <laughs> that's right. Very good. Thank you. Continue, Emilia, please. Um, ¿Cómo se dice? Quiero ver. Cantante. Singer. Singer. A singer. As, um, has. A singer has. 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 Um, it's entertaining job. Mm -hmm. An entertaining and an entertaining young job. Job, job, an entertaining job. job. Very good job, job, Emilia. That's good. Okay, Rafael, are you there? Okay. Yes. A nurse has a, a nurse has a difficult job. A difficult job. Very good. Nice. A nurse has a difficult job. Great. Nice. Blanca, continue. Um, a house housewife. A housewife. A housewife. House housewife. Housewife. As has has 
has a exhausting or entertaining. Mm, okay. Job. An exhausting and entertaining. And entertaining job. Job. In that case, you have two adjectives. Job. That's good. <laughs> An exhausting and entertaining job. job. That is good. Very good. Nice. <laughs> Rebecca, continue. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> a writer. A writer's a, job. A writer. Is... Ah, okay. A writer's job. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. Yeah, excellent. Nice. Nevi, continue. A barber job is a barber's job. Job. Ah, okay. Is... Barber's barber's job. Barber's job. job nice. Is uh -huh. exhausting. It's exhausting. Very good job. Great. Juan Alberto, continue. Mm, como leo fotógrafo. Photographer. A photographer? A photographer has a beautiful job. Ah, that's right. Good one. A photographer has a beautiful job. Yeah, that's great. Nice. For, Judy, continue. Photographer. 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 PH junta suena como una F. Pero, pero se, es con, se termina en siempre con E o con O. Con la pronunciación. La... la Photographer. Photo. Photo? Photographer. Fer. Photographer. Like Fernando. Photographer. Photographer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Thank you. My pleasure. Judy. Hola. Hey, yes. Hola. Okay. Yo que hacer prueba siempre. <laughs> the proof, me the fallan proof. los me fallan los audífonos. Espero la próxima semana tener otro. Ah, oh, that's good. Esto. Yeah, that's good. Vamos a ir. Aaron me dice dónde va a ir usted. Ajá, para llegar. yes. Y lleva la, la, la computadora y me deja. De cornucopia, de cornucopia. Ah, yes. Ah, okay, maybe, okay. maybe you have a promotion, <laughs> yes. <laughs> para decir eh, azafata es air hostess. Ajá, you can say air hostess or flight oh. attendant also. Ah, ok, ok. Eh, a flight attender. Attendant. Attendant. Uh, Joe is fantastic. Attendance. 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 Job, Attendance. Right? Uh -huh. Joe Good. is fantastic. It's fantastic. Very good. Great. Kevin, continue. A uh, cinema producer mm -hmm. has a okay. has, um, fantastic job. A fantastic job. Excellent. Really good job, guys. Congratulations. Now we know how to give description of occupations and also professions. Great. Okay, and here we finished with this section. Section three, we finished. Uh, next Monday, we continue with section four. Yes. And remember the exercises that you have, right? Any question? No. No, me. Todo gracias a usted, me. Thank yeah. you. Thank you because you are very dedicated, guys. You. <laughs> yes, you are dedicated, guys. So you, you can make this possible. Ustedes lo hacen posible. You can make it possible. Ya no le pregunté nada del what do you do porque, porque me dice no. Bueno. <laughs> 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 Peligroso, no, no. me pega. Nada que solo inventando, anda, mis. Invent, don't invent, Aaron, don't invent. No, no, tranquilo. Yo, agüita, agüita, fresquito. Okay. Mis, tengo una duda. Ay, yes. yo solo soy duda, mis, lo siento. No, ya ve, worry. ya ve. Tell me. Ay, prefiero pasar una duda un ratito que toda la vida. And not for all the time. That is correct. Good. Tell me. Le digo, fíjense que me he estado quebrando la cabeza con unas oraciones que están las tres oraciones en el C, en el literal C, mm, okay. eh, y este he de ordenar la oración. Mm -hmm. Ok. Esa es, ya les la leo. Supuestamente decía yo que era there, there is not in my room a, a bedroom. In the bedroom. In the bedroom. In the bedroom. 
Ajá, Ajá, independent. There is no, there is no, pero there is not a mirror in, in the bedroom. bedroom. Uh -huh. Ajá. No me la acepta. No sé por qué. There y ya le puse millones no. de apóstrofes y pensé que era el apóstrofe y no. Ok, ¿Y try será? like this. Maybe eh, you need to try here. There is no mirror in the bedroom. Not, ah. In the bedroom. Es no, no es not. No, no, no es not. Ajá. Ajá. Es there is no, no mirror. Ajá. There is no mirror. There is Porque no entonces mirror. está haciendo negativa. Ajá. If it's negative, you need to put like, there isn't a mirror. Negativa. There isn't a mirror. The two options. There is no mirror in the bedroom or there isn't a mirror in the bathroom. Um, yo la puse, there isn't a mirror in the bedroom. And it was correct? Yes. Y se That's la aceptó. Sí. Entonces es esa opción, porque recuerden yeah. que hay varias opciones, ¿verdad? Entonces hay una que no, probablemente no se la va a aceptar. ¿Cómo so le escribí? Like... Like... Option two, okay. right? Two? Mm -hmm. Yes. Opción. Option two. Mm -hmm. No, pero es de complementar. No, de complemento. No era de armar las oraciones. No, esa no parte. o sea, es de no. complementar donde yo complemento la oración que aparece en desorden. Uh -huh. Esa es. Dítemela, tal vez la escribí, tal vez la escribí es la completa. segunda. Option 2. Option 2. Que no me uh -huh. da opciones. No sé si la ven, no, no la ven. No, no. es mándelo, que no mándelo, es que mándelo, le WhatsApp. Vemos... Pero no es que le si da está... opciones, sino que la tiene Ajá. que escribir. Es complete. La tiene uh -huh. que armar, la tiene uh -huh. que ordenar. Correcto, correcto. Ajá. Es la que Ajá. tengo que ordenar. Uh -huh. Esa es la segunda opción, es... Is there there is is a is mirror in the bedroom. Uh -huh. Ah, no la borre, mi espérese. No, 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 it's okay. Tenga, <ríe> tenga cuidado con el apóstrofe también, Nelly, porque el apóstrofe también uh -huh. eh, puede ser que no le no lo está agarrando. Sí, porque a veces uh -huh. eh, no es coma, sino es un apóstrofe. El apóstrofe uh -huh. recto. Ajá. Y también el punto que recordemos que a veces en la plataforma ya nos, lo, ya nos da el punto, entonces ya no en hay que agregarlo. En la plataforma no hay que ponerlo. Ajá, ajá ¿No? ya nos lo da ahí. Uh -huh. No, nothing. No se lo da. Seguirá intentando, no. Pero Continue. esa es... Nemi, esa es, que, es la sí, respuesta. Es que, es que yo, yo, o sea, cuando yo la armé, yo deduje que esa era, pero mm. no me la da y ya le puse, como le digo, ya le puse mil apóstrofes y no me la da, quizás así se va a ir. ¿Y si lo pone is not? Sin es, el apóstrofe. Sin, There sin, is not a mirror. There is sin not. Contractar. Complete. Esa puede ser otra forma también. Sin, contra, sin hacer la contra, contractada la, la respuesta, porque There hay, is hay unas hay unas opciones que no acepta el apóstrofe. Uh -huh. No quiere. Sí, y a veces también no agarra como la mayúscula el inicio de uh -huh. algo pasa uh -huh. ahí en la plataforma que sí, pero, bueno, por regla seguir... tiene que ir así. Correcto, voy a seguir intentando porque mi duda era si yo estaba en el error o si así es, si yo le escribí así como usted le escribió, mis, pero no me la acepta. Entonces algo uh -huh. tiene que tener un errorcito uh -huh. ahí. Uh -huh. o Entendi. salga de la plataforma y lo eh, y intente de nuevo entre de nuevo tal ah. vez así bah. porque a veces uh -huh. está fallando la... puede claro. ser que la plataforma esté fallando o, o un espaciado también uh -huh. también uh -huh. different uh -huh. details si nos vamos de okay. más de un espacio entre palabra uh -huh. y palabra también lo da error uh -huh. correcto uh -huh. thank yes. you miss my pleasure guys have a happy weekend happy enjoy it weekend. relax Take care. I'll see you on Monday. Okay. Yes. Good night. Have a good night. Good night. Take good night, care. teacher. Thank you for everything. Bye -bye. Enjoy Bye -bye. the weekend. Bye -bye. Good night. Sweet dreams. Nos vemos el lunes, Miss. I'll see you on Monday, everyone. Take care. Good night. Have a Bye. good night, Emilia. Take care. Thank you. Thank you Bye. so much. Bye-bye.